Welcome to the section 2. It is called components of a JMeter test plan. So what we are going to do here. In this section I want to show you main types of elements in JMeter that are used to create load test scenarios. We will start from the core of thread groups, samplers and controllers. Afterwards move on to listeners and assertions. They help us to understand what is going on during test execution and to make some automatic checks. At the end of section, let's have a look at elements that are frequently used to parameterize scenarios. Now we start with thread groups, samplers and controllers. This is a JMeter GUI. It is used for script creation and debugging. You can see that application is split into two parts. Left one contains your scenario tree and right shows you available fields and details for selected element of scenario. The root element in each scenario is test plan. You can delete it and usually you don't do anything with it. The second important element is called thread group. This element includes other elements of your scenario and also it defines how long and how many users should execute your scenario. Default is one user and one scenario iteration. As we are testing backend or server side of application, Scenario should send some request to server. That can be HTTP, HTTPS requests, GDBC request to your database, SMTP request to a mail servers, or even some custom request implementations. In the context of JMeter, that requests or actions are called samplers. Let's add some HTTP request sampler to our thread group. It contains several fields that are required by HTTP protocol. Let's send this request for some site, for example at home.com that will be used later in this course. So we need to set protocol in our case is https server name www at home.com and port number can be left blank in this case jmeter with will use default https port that is 443 and also set pass here in our case it's just slash Let's add one more element just to see which requests are sent by JMeter. Add view results tree listener to test plan element. More detailed listeners will be observed in next video. Now start test with run button. And if you see one green sample result, that means that the request was processed successfully. JMeter executes scenario from the top to the bottom. So let's add few more requests to check that. You can create new request or just duplicate existing one. To do that, just make a right click and select duplicate or you can use hotkey command or control shift c rename request to recognize each one first second and third to clear all recorded results in listeners click clear result button let's run test one more time and we should see three requests that are sent one by one. 
But uh, what if we need some more complex scenario logic? Not so straightforward as we get here. For this purpose, JMeter has logic controllers. So name of each controller in most cases describes for what it can be used. But if you still don't understand, for example, what interleave controller does, you can add it to your scenario, select it and click on help button. This button will open correspondent section of JMeter documentation. Let's remove it. And let's use a few examples how to use logic controllers. So now add once only controller and loop controller to thread group. Place request one to once only controller and request two to loop controller. So I do it in the next way. Just move once only controller to the top and move request one here. And after that, the same scenes with request two. So set number of loops in loop controller to three. And let's start test. Okay, don't forget to clear results before running tests. You can see here that request 2 was executed for three times. It is used because we used three loops in loop controller. So even if we get here one scenario iteration, request number two was executed three times. But what about request one? We can still see it in the view results three with no differences with uh, some previous runs. So to observe any influence of once only controller, we need to set, for example, two or more loops of scenario iterations. Clear recorded samples. And let's see at view results three what we got. So in first iteration, we got one request one, three request two, and request three. But in the second iteration, we don't see here request one. So this request was executed just once in the first iteration. As you can see, you can emulate different logic of user actions for your scenario with logic controllers.